Hello YouTube people. In the previous video I showed how I patched up a hole in the screen door and in this video I will show how I cat proofed my screen door. Please smash that like button if you like this video. Also if you'd like to hear about future videos please click the subscribe button. The tools and supplies used for this project are chicken wire, a yardstick, number six screws, number six washers, a pencil, a Phillips screwdriver, pliers, two putty knives or spatulas, wire cutters, and a drill. Before starting the project, I checked the clearance between the screen door and the middle door posts. It looks like I have about a quarter inch clearance. In order to remove the screen door, I retracted the four wheels by unscrewing the screws. I stopped the unscrewing the screw heads a couple millimeters outside of the screen door. To measure where to cut the chicken wire, I laid the chicken wire onto the screen door. I then proceeded to cut the chicken wires using the middle of the side frames as my target endpoints. I bent in the sharp ends of the chicken wire. I flattened out the chicken wire by unrolling it in the opposite direction that it was rolled. Using a pencil, I marked off where the first drill hole should be. Wearing safety glasses and being careful not to touch the moving drill parts and checking that the drill bit is not cockeyed, I drilled where the pencil mark was and I screwed in the washer. The initial drill bit that I used was not effective so I switched to a smaller drill bit to start the hole. Next I mark off where the middle screw will be and I drill a hole there. Because of the camera angle, the drilling of the third hole on the top left was not filmed. For the trim, I used some leftover material from the kitty litter bag. Next, I mark off and drill the bottom two holes. The bottom of the chicken wire is then locked into place using the screws and the washers. I then marked off where to drill the bottom right hole and I drilled that hole. 
I did the same for the other two holes on the right side. Trim was then added to the right side. The screen door was placed back by inserting the top of the door into the top trap. Then the putty knife was used to lift the bottom wheels over the track. The wheels were extended by screwing in the four screws. The door was checked to make sure it was on track and the screws were adjusted until the screen door opened smoothly. Here's a picture of the finished cat proofed screen door. In the description below this video, I've added some affiliate links to some of the supplies used for this project. Thank you for watching.